Hey guys, well it's official. There has been another update to the casting. This is not exactly the brandest of the new news, but Storm Reed, Storm Reed has officially been added just this past week to the cast of The Last of Us on HBO. So we're gonna go into that. We're gonna look at look at Storm Reed, see uh, what her career has been like, see what she's gonna be doing, and. Uh, and we're going to talk more about the cast after that. After the little break, we're going to get into what's going to happen with Storm Reed. Alright, so it's official. Storm Reed has been added to the cast and she's going to be playing Riley. And Riley is not a character from the main game. Riley is actually a friend of... Yeah, so Ellie... So this is uh, this is Riley and this is Ellie. And they there is a... They're actually from... Uh, Riley is actually from a DLC of the first Last of Us game, which came out in 2014. And uh, this is actually a DLC that I never played. It was a separate. It was almost like a separate game. It was almost not even like DLC. It almost. It's kind of like a separate game that you could download separately from the Last of Us. And I never played it because when I bought the Last of Us remastered, it wasn't included, which it should have been, which is dumb because. It was DLC, it was DLC, but so what is the story of the Last of Us Left Behind? Well, here I'm on the Last of Us wiki, and this is the actual story itself. So Ellie returns as the new light is shed on her relationship with Riley, her best friend from the military boarding school. They both grew up in. Uh, they both also Ellie grew up in a military boarding school, which could you know maybe attest to why she's a bit of a badass. She's not. A complete you know wimp I mean as the game progresses she becomes more of a of hardened and she becomes more willing and easier to kill people after inexplicably despairing for weeks Riley re-emerges in Ellie's life with a surprising revelation the two sneak out of their school for the last time leading to a series of events that will forever change both of their lives so this is so this is a left behind DLC is a uh, prequel to the game so it actually happened before the game come out came out it takes place before the main story of the game so this so potentially this being in the show it could be just a flashback because the show takes place when it happens so this could be happening before but the story of left behind is a non-linear timeline of both ellie's time with riley before meeting joel so this is all before she got bit so this is during the main events of Last of Us. The scene begins with Ellie hiding Joel in an abandoned Col Colorado mountain plaza, using her summer shirt and some binding to stem the bleeding from Joel's impalement while she explores the mall for medical supplies. All right, so this so the Left Behind takes three weeks before the Last of Us takes place. Riley surprises Ellie at the boarding school, revealing that she became a firefly during her absence. Riley takes Ellie to the abandoned shopping mall she brought her when they first met. The two girls played around. So they just played around, blah blah blah. However, Riley, Ellie keeps asking Riley why she brought her there. Riley evades the question while reluctantly revealing that the Fireflies assigned her to another group in a different city. And she wanted to see Ellie one last time before going even though Marlene forbid her so. To cheer themselves up, the girls have a water gun fight and play around and blah blah blah. Ellie pleaded with Riley not to go despite having earlier encouraged her to. Riley drops her pendant in response and Ellie kisses her. Riley starts to say something about how Marlene won't approve, but she's interrupted by runners that were attracted by the music. So that's kind of dumb that they would play music. They should know better by that. By now. So this is the first showing of also Ellie's being uh, a lesbian, which is not something they really talked about much in the first game, the, the main first game. They didn't really talk, touch on that at all, so they touch on it in here, and then of course it's a bigger thing in two. Shifting back to the Colorado Mount Plaza, Ellie attempts to make her way back to Joel with the kit. However, she is impeded by it, infected as well as survivors from David's group. So this DLC is kind of like goes back and forth part of 
what happens with her and Riley, and part of it is from the main game. So Riley could be part of the flashback, or she could be part of the main show. It's kind of hard to, to tell. I mean, they could just incorporate that whole thing into the Ellie's backstory, and I mean, every 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 show with multiple app characters always has like a flashback episode for each character. So, but who is this Storm Reed? So Storm Reed, uh, Storm Reed's had a pretty cool career in the last couple of years. Uh, I think I first saw her in The Invisible Man, which is this is from, and I really really love this movie. I think The Invisible Man is such a really cool, awesome movie that I didn't have a whole lot of expectations for then I watched it and I just loved where they went with it so she plays the daughter of the main character's friend and then but then if you also watch the Suicide Squad that came out last year she played the daughter of Idris Elba's Idris Elba's character who I think his name was Bloodsport you know she started in 2012 and you know here we are what less than 10 years later and about 10 years later now and she's have a pretty sweet career and she's going to be in The Last of Us. So over here we have all the casting. This is on IMDb and uh, so actually in the casting it does help you give a hint as it shows right here that she's Storm Reed is only in one episode. So that could very much hint to the fact that there'll be one flashback episode. I'm thinking there will be like one episode that's a flashback of Joel's life and one episode that's a flashback of Ellie's life. So I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed that Riley will be in the episode of Ellie's flashback showing her life before the outbreak and then after. So I don't know, it's interesting to make all this news about someone being added when it's only one episode. And it's cool to see Graham Greene on here. Graham Greene is a Canadian legend actor I'm from Canada and this guy's been around forever. So it's just cool to see him in a big production. So it seems that seeing, showing that she's only here in one episode it definitely leads me to believe that she's only going to be in the in Ellie's flashback episode. And I don't know, maybe her character comes up later in another season, or she, she becomes a firefly. And she's also really young. I wasn't sure. I don't know if there's like an age limit to how young someone can be to be in a firefly, but it's interesting to note that she's only in one episode. So. Okay, well that's it for this video guys. Uh, what do you think about Storm Reed being adding? What do you think about the Riley? What do you think about the Left, Left Behind DLC being officially part of the show? Well, let me know what you think, you know, make a comment below, share this and do all this stuff to help my channel grow because this is a channel about video game adaptations, not just Last of Us. And this is something that I'm passionate about. So I want this channel to grow and I want you to like it. So thanks for watching.